Good morning, Mountaineers, and welcome to Mountaineers Adventures. Guess what? We're in a new series. What is it about? Over the next four weeks, we are going to learn about the miracles of Jesus. And so for the next two weeks, we're going to create our own miracle paper. So, go find a piece of paper and a pencil, a crayon, or a marker. Go ahead, go ahead and get your piece of paper, get your pencil, get your marker, or a crayon. All right, so as you can see, my lovely assistant, isn't she beautiful? Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you so very much. She is going to demonstrate what you're going to do with your piece of paper. And then I have another assistant who's going to join me. Now, I want you to pay attention to this assistant. And so what this assistant is going to do is, she's going to show what your paper is kind is, is going to look like on the whiteboard. But pay attention to Briella because she's gonna tell us how to show us how to fold the paper so we can make sure our paper is right, all right? So all eyes this way, all right? Now, fold your paper hamburger style. So that's top to bottom and try to crease it as straight as you can. I mean, it's, it's that way. It's in, my, in my mind, in my piece of paper, this way, then that's the top of the bottom. I like the handbook. And Briella is doing a wonderful job. And you all at home, I'm sure you're doing an awesome job too. Thank you so very much. So you want the wide pieces of the paper, because we are handbook. All right. Excellent job, Briella. Now open it back up. Now, I want you to do a hot dog fold. So remember, the hamburger was wide. So if you think about a hot dog bun, it's a little bit thin. all right? So now I want you to do a hot dog fold. Yep, you got it. There you go. She's doing an awesome job. And you all at home are doing wonderful too. Thank you for following direction. All right, so open up your paper so they can see. And now you should have four sections. One, two, three, and four. And as you can see, we did our hamburger fold and we got this crease. We did our hot dog fold and we have this crease. And we have one, two, three, and four. All right, thank you very much, lovely assistants. Now, we're gonna come back to these papers later on. But this month, guess what? We have some special people that are going to pray for us. So go ahead and bow your heads and get ready for prayer by Nyla, one of our mountaineers. I'll see you back in a few, okay? Dear Lord, I thank you for this day that you have given us, God. I pray that you would bless every homeless person in sight, God. Anyone who's going through a rough time or the wrong path, God, I pray that you would just lead them up the, up the right one, God. I pray that you would just cover and keep us in your arms, God. I pray that you would keep us safe, but through ever anyone who's going through, I pray that students who are going through this virtual school get to understand and that they will have a good year, God. I pray that you would bless my family and my friends, God. I pray that you will lead me through the right door and everyone who has a has trouble during this time god i pray that anyone who is sick or hurt that you would heal them god i pray that you would send warrior angels to protect the person anyone who's on the road god traveling god i pray that you would just keep us and cover us with the blood of jesus and jesus name i pray amen
Good morning, Mountaineers. I'm Miss Lorinda. And I'm Miss Gwen. We're going to go over our main point for today. Are you ready? All right, let's stand up and let's get ready to do our actions with our main point. We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Let's get some friends to come on and help us with that. Come on, friends, join us on stage. Let's do it a couple of more times, okay? We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. I got it? One more time. We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Great job. One more time. We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Great job. All right, boys and girls, let's get our miracle papers out. And you have something to write with? Okay, now on the top of your paper, I want you to write the word miracles. It's okay if you don't know how to spell miracles. Just write a letter M or write as many letters as you know in the word miracles. All right, you got that? Now, in the first box at the top, I want you to write our main point for today. Do you remember what we went over? We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Let me say it again and I'll say it slowly so you can write it. We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. You got it? Great. Now don't worry if you can't write the main point. You can also draw the main point. Now remember what it is. We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Can you draw that? I see it. It's doing great. Good morning, Mountaineers, and welcome to Mountaineers Adventures. Well, guess what? I'm not here to introduce the lesson today. I'm here to introduce a new segment for the month of November. It is called Spanish Praise. Are you excited? Get your hands in the air and give the Lord some praise. Yes! Well, let me tell you who's going to lead us through Spanish Praise. Her name is Drea, and she grew up in a bilingual home where she learned both English and Spanish. Her mom is from Panama, where the native language is Spanish. She was also the Spanish teacher at Mount Lebanon Christian Academy. Anybody that went to the academy is going to know exactly who this is. So for the next four weeks, be ready for our Spanish praise segment as we learn how to give God praise in Spanish. Spanish. Thank you. Hola y bienvenidos. Hi and welcome to Spanish Praise. We are going to be learning some praises in Spanish and I have some friends who are going to come up here to help me so we can learn these praises. Come on up friends. All right for week one we will be learning thank you Lord and glory to God. So first is thank you Lord. Gracias. Gracias. Señor. Señor. Gracias. Gracias. Señor. Señor. All right. And glory to God. Gloria. Gloria. A. A. Dios. Dios. Gloria. Gloria. A. A. Dios. Dios. Today we are talking about fear, but more important, why we, we should not fear. Can you think of reasons and things we are afraid to do? With me, I'm afraid of needles, okay? But today, Jesus is giving us a big reason we do not, um, we do not need to make, um, have any fear. Let's talk about a story of Jesus from Matthews 8, 23 through 27. Now, many of Jesus' disciples were not men of the sea. Some of them had never been on a boat before. Probably, but have you ever been on a boat yourself? I have. I've been on big boats, cruise ships. Woo. Well, these men didn't even have life jackets. A few of the men in the boat were fishermen, and they probably had been through storms before. 
But this big storm was enough to scare even them. The only one not scared was Jesus. That should have been a big clue to the disciples that they should not be afraid. It wasn't until Jesus showed them his power that they realized how silly their fear was. Jesus said, be still. Can you say that with me? Be still. And the storm obeyed. The storm obeyed him because he is the son of God. Jesus shows us with this miracle that we never need to fear things in our life. If we believe in Jesus, he will be there with us just like in the boat. If Jesus is with us, we don't have to be afraid. We all experience different types of storms in our lives. Some storms are things like losing a loved one. Sometimes we lose a parent or a grandparent. Jesus can calm these types of storms too. Jesus can calm any storms in our lives. As you grow older, the types of storms you face will change. Some may be scary, but when those storms come and you feel the wind blow and you feel and the rain starts to fall, remember this. Remember how Jesus spoke, be still, and the storm went away. If you are facing a storm, Jesus is right there beside you. Give that storm to Jesus and ask him to help. We have nothing to fear from any storm because Jesus will always be there. Let's say a quick prayer. Dear God, help us remember you are near when we feel afraid. In Jesus' name. Now, let's say our main point one more time. We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Thanks boys and girls for joining us. Well, Mountaineers, you know last lesson, we did moves like superheroes. Well, every week we're gonna do something a little different. So today we're gonna do storm preparedness. And we have our wonderful volunteers on the stage and they're gonna get us ready for a storm. And at home, just pretend like you have these items and do the moves they're doing, all right? So, pretend like you're putting up your umbrella to cover yourself from the storm. Prayer is our covering, so we need to pray always. Put your umbrella down, pretend to put your umbrella down. Um, Mountaineers, I don't recommend you put your umbrella up in your house. Your mother and father are probably not gonna be happy with Okay, all right. Now, pretend like you have a radio in your hand and you're trying to find the right frequency to learn more about the storm. We have to keep our ears in tune to what God has to say so we know how to handle the storm. All right, put your radios down. Now, pretend like you're drinking some water. So now and then, if you got a cup of water, you go down and take a sip, they're gonna pretend like they're drinking it. Remember, the Holy Spirit represents water and he will comfort us during any storm we face. All right, put your water down. Now, we're gonna pretend like we're eating. But look at them, they're not picking up real food, they're picking up the Bible and they're reading it. During a storm and before a storm, we have to ensure our spirit is filled with the Word of God. All right, great job, y'all. Now, pretend like you have a flashlight at home, and they're going to pick up their flashlights, turn them on, and say, I'll trust Jesus. I'll trust like Jesus. Jesus. When that storm comes. When, when that storm comes. All right, now everybody at home, join them. I'll trust Jesus. I'll trust Jesus. Jesus. When they No matter what difficult thing we face, we have to trust Jesus. Excellent job. Give them a round of applause. Now have a seat and see what we can learn from our trail guide, Jocelyn. All right. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, that wind is horrible. Jocelyn, how are you? Oh, Jocelyn, did you know we were having a hurricane? No, I had no idea. Oh, I see. You, you got the emergency preparedness kit. Got it. Oh, do you think the Mountaineers know that we're, we're going to have a hurricane? No, I don't Probably think. Probably not. Hi, Mountaineers. It's Miss Renee. I'm back to help Jocelyn. We are working on our emergency preparedness kit. The purpose of this kit is to help you to be ready in case of an emergency. So we've got a couple of items that we've got to get in this kit and get in this kit quickly. So I've got some batteries, because I need batteries for my radio, because we always need music, okay? We always need music, and we need to hear what's going on in the news. Yeah. So this is going to go in the box. Along with my batteries, I've got a first aid kit. You need a first aid kit in case you get hurt. You'll have band-aids and alcohol wipes and everything. And then water. You need lots and lots of water in an emergency. Because you might lose power and you just need a lot of water. And then you need cleaner to clean up your mess from your snacks. You guys like Kind Bars. Justin, you like Kind Bars? They're my favorite. I love them. They're the best. Oh my God, and we also have crackers, and we've got peanut butter too, guys. We are so ready. And then we also- Oh, Teddy, we've got to have Teddy. Jocelyn's favorite, favorite stuffed animal. She gets scared, guys, when she doesn't have Teddy. So we're going to put Teddy in the box. And then finally, a blanket to keep us warm. But more than anything, guys, to be prepared for any emergency, do you know what you need the most, Jocelyn? Jesus. You absolutely need Jesus because Jesus is the most important thing to have in an emergency. More important than batteries, pine bars, crackers, Kleenex. Jesus is what you need in an emergency. God's Son has the power over all creation. He is strong enough to calm the sea and tell the storm to be quiet. When we have Jesus in our hearts, we don't need to be fearful of anything. So next time you're afraid or fearful, just call on Jesus and he'll take all your fear away. But don't forget your emergency preparedness kitty. Either. And the kind bars. And the kind bars, because Jesus wants you to have both of those. Absolutely. All right, Mountaineers, we're going to go continue to get ready. Oh my God, Jocelyn, the wind is The wind is really We're coming. out of here, Mountaineers. All right. <laughs> all right. Welcome, boys and girls, to Boat Regatta. Can you say that with me? Boat Regatta. I'm Miss Lorinda, and we're going to play a game today. With me today, I have Briella and I have Javon. And again, we're gonna be playing boat, paper boat regatta. So they're going to blow their boats through straws in an attempt to propel the, their boats from one side of the tub to the other. The first boat to reach the other side wins. If either boat sinks, the boat is automatically the loser. Now, Cheer on who you think you're gonna, who's gonna win at home, Briella or Javon. All right, you ready? Set, you got your boats? Ready, set, go. to fear if we have Jesus. Good job, everyone. Well, welcome back. We're going to have some storm interactions today. And we're actually gonna have three different storm interactions, but this is gonna be storm interaction number one. And so we're gonna make a storm with noises, all right? Then we're gonna make a rain cloud, and then we're gonna make a thunderstorm. If you have siblings at home, call them in the room with you and you all stand up next to each other in a straight line, just like these lovely volunteers on the stage are. All right, now, one at a time, as I come in front of you, snap your fingers. And if you're at home, let the first person snap their fingers, wait about three seconds, so count, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and then the next person snap, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Let's go.
All right, the rain is slowly starting to fall. Now you're going to get ready and you're going to slap your knees. Remember to count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand before you actually stop. Down, all right, so but the question is, well, how are clouds formed? 
Well, clouds are formed when warm air mixes with tiny little particles like dust and rise high in the sky. The air up there is cold, and cold air turns warm air into liquid. And the clouds get really, 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 really heavy. That's why if I covered all of this blue, this is going to get so heavy that it's going to be more and more and more blue falling down and raining and raining down. So guess what? When we worry or are afraid, our heart may begin to feel heavy as the storm comes. But we have to remember that we can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Remember, we can trust Jesus when we we are afraid. We're going to send these directions to your parents this week, and you all can try this at home, too. Be sure to take a picture and post it on our Facebook and Twitter page at MCM underscore Chesapeake so we can see your amazing, amazing rain clouds. I'm sure you're going to have more rain than Minister Ulysses had. Well, time to wrap up lesson one. Just about. Let's review our main point with Miss Gwen, Miss Lorenda, and friends. Get on up and say it and do it with them three times. Let's do it a couple of more times, okay? We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Got it? One more time. We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Great job. One more time. We can trust Jesus when we are afraid. Great job. Mountie challenges you to find the memory verse, which is John 3, 17. Remember the memory verse, John 3, 17, and we're gonna have the new international version. So I want you to go get your Bible, and I want you to see if you can find the memory verse before Mountie does. All right, so go get your Bible, go get your Bible. Mountie has his Bible. Ready, set, go. You're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking. Mountie found it very, very, very fast. If you found it before him, skip from one end of the room to the other side. Do it again. Do it one more time. If you didn't, say, I'll do it next time. Now, we're going to read it with Mountie. So, let's go, Mountie. For God did not, not send his son into the world to, to condemn, condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Let's try that again. Go ahead. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, to save the world through them. Awesome. Now, all of the boys at home, say the verse with Mountain. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but he sent his son to save us. All right. Now, all the girls at home, say it with Mountain. God, God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him. Now, everybody say it with Mountie. Let's go. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Awesome job, Mountie. Now, awesome job to you all too. Remember, there is no need to fear storms because we trust who? Jesus. And he is present with us just like he was in the boat. So repeat after me. Dear God, help us remember you are near when we feel afraid. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Mountie. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. All right. Here's our miracle box. So go take out your miracle paper. And we're going to go ahead on and we're going to finish filling it in. So... Go ahead on and get your miracles papers. We forgot a few things. So now we're gonna go ahead on and we're gonna fill them in. So in your second box, we're gonna write the scripture for today's story, which is Matthew chapter eight, verses 23 through 27. Now, if you don't know how to spell Matthew, you can 
sound it out. Yeah. Mm, at, su, what's this? Su, ooh. What's this? It's actually an E and a W, all right? If you want to write it for short, you can write M A T T dot chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. So you do your little colon, that's a dot, on top of another dot. You write the number 23, you write a dash, and you write 27. Matthew 8, 23 through 27. She's a lovely assistant. You don't have to write chapter. Just write Matthew. And then 8, the number 8. And then the colon, 23 through 27. Don't stress yourselves at home trying to write the word chapter. We just won't know where the story took place. All right? We're going to go down here to our third box. And I want you to think back to the object lesson that Jocelyn did with her emergency preparedness kit. Or even think about when we got ready for the storm, what's one of the things that we used when we were getting ready for the storm? Let's see, we had a flashlight, we had our water, we had our Bible, we had our umbrellas, we had our radios, and Jocelyn had some of those things in her emergency preparedness kit too. So, what are we going to draw or write from our emergency preparedness kit? Let's see what the lovely assistant Okay. And she's drawing the whole kit. But she has the box that reminds her and has the cross on it so you can remember you need this during an emergency. Works for me. Maybe you drew a Bible. Maybe you drew water. It's whatever you remember that you wanted to draw. Now, in our last box, I want you to draw something to remind you of what we learned today. And remember, we learned today that we're going to trust God when we are afraid. Again, we're going to trust God when we are afraid. So what could you draw here? Maybe you can draw you. Maybe you can draw Jesus. Maybe you can draw him with his arms around you. Maybe you can draw you praying, asking him to help you overcome your fears. Just think about something that you can draw and take a few little minutes and draw something that reminds you of the lesson. That we can trust Jesus when we are afraid. All right, we have a person. And Cece has written, I trust God. Awesome job. That is wonderful. You go, Cece. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Mountaineers, you've done it. Excellent job today. Did you enjoy the boat regalia? Remember, there is no need to fear a storm if you trust in Jesus. He is present with us inside of the boat. Now, I want you to repeat after me because if you're like me, you might have been scared sometimes. But let's pray this really quick prayer. Dear God, Help us remember you are near when we are afraid. In Jesus' name, amen. Did you say that prayer with me? I'm sure you did. Now you and me can increase our faith in God and know that there's no need for us to be afraid. Let's talk about our craft really quick. I'm going to have my friend, Miss Tumati, come on up and she's going to show us a miracle. Do you remember that word earlier today? Miracle. So she's got two plates. Let's see. There's nothing on them. Now she has one coin. Whoa! That's a miracle. That's a double blessing. Now she's got two coins. Wow. Boys and girls, in your last box of the miracle paper, I want you to draw something to remind you of what we learned about today. Maybe it's you praying to Jesus. Maybe it's his arms wrapped around you. Maybe it's you being covered up from the rain or from the wind. Post your miracle sheets somewhere where you can see them every day. Maybe in your room, maybe on the refrigerator, maybe in the bathroom on the mirror. 
I want you to have your parents follow the links that we've given them and post your designs on our Facebook page or on our Twitter at MCM underscore Chesapeake. I'm going to be looking for those designs. Now, join us next week for an exciting episode of Mountaineers Adventures as we learn about the miracle related to what Giovanni just did. Hmm, I wonder what that will be. Join us next week. See you later, boys and girls.